Hello everyone, this is me Sharon. Welcome back to my channel. For today's episode, ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano gawin ang very simple tote bag. Ang ginawa kong stitch dito ay double crochet stitches at gumamit din ako ng mga butones para mai-attach yung strap para sa tote bag na ito. Uh, tuturo ko din later kung paano i-adjust kung gusto nyo mas malaki na tote bag ang gagawin ninyo. I hope you watch until the end of this video and don't forget to subscribe. Para sa project na to, gagamitin ko ang lightweight gray yarn na nabili ko sa Japan Surplus and of course yung hook is 3.25 mm. So ang una nating gagawin is we're going to uh, make a slip knot and then we're going to chain 30 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 Okay, so once you have 30 chains, this is uh, the length of the bottom of the bag that uh, we have. At this point, I only chained 30, but if you want a bigger tote bag, you can add a few more chains. Oh, yeah. Now, if you want a smaller tote bag, you can reduce the size of the number of chains. And the next step would be we're going to uh, work a double crochet on the fourth chain from hook. So we're going to yarn over and it is a fourth chain that is where we're going to work our second double crochet. So the chain three there counts as one double crochet. And we're going to keep working one double crochet into each chain until we get to the last stitch. So, once we're done putting one double crochet into every chain, so into the very last stitch or the chain, the last chain, that is where we're going to work an increase or we're going to work five double crochets into that last stitch. Two. Three, four, and five. Yeah. So this should be easy to pull. And then after that, makikita nyo naman dito sa pinaka next na uh, stitch. Nasa opposite side na tayo. Yung pinaka first na stitch would be the opposite side of the first double crochet na makikita nyo. So this would be the first stitch in which we're gonna work our first double crochet on this side. Yan. Right, so there, make sure not to skip a stitch. So we're going to do one double crochet into every stitch except the last one. All right. So this is what it looks like. And I'm into my second to the last stitch. So, pag nakita niyo yung pinaka last na double crochet, hindi pa yun ang pinaka last. Dito sa third chain. 
So, pinakailalim ng chain 3 tayo. Maglalagay ng 4 double crochet. So, dapat kung ilan yung stitches na nilagay natin, dapat ganun din yung nasa kabila. So, bali, we have 3, we have 4. And then, we're gonna work a slip stitch on top of the chain 3 which is now chain 2 but this will still count as one double crochet there so we have five here and we also have five double crochets on both ends now into the second round or round two we're going to work chain three which will count as one double crochet and then into the same stitch into that same stitch there we're going to work one more because this is still part of the increase of the group of five DCs on this one so we're gonna add an increase so by the time that we get back here we should have two double crochets into the last four stitches into each of those four double crochets and then once we get here we should also work an increase of two double crochets into each of those five group of dc's or double crochets and then in between we're gonna just work one double crochet into each stitch So when you get to the five double crochets, you're gonna work two double crochet into each. So we should have two, four, six, eight, ten. And then once you get to this one, we're just going to work one double crochet into each stitch, except when we get to the last four stitches of this round. So this is what it looks like now so into the last four stitches left we're gonna work an increase or two double shape into each of the last four stitches left So next, we're going to end the round and work a slip stitch on top of the third beginning chain. So this is the first stitch. This is where our chain 3 is. And on top of that, that is where we're going to work a slip stitch. So now, we're going to add an increase on 
round three to widen the oval base and to do that it's very easy so what we're going to do is we're going to work an increase into those increase that we have in the previous rounds like in here we have two double crochets in one stitch so what we're gonna do is we're going to add an increase into each of those so chain three which will count as one double crochet and then into that same stitch we're gonna work one more double crochet and then into the next stitch which is where our second double crochet so we are going to add the increase so it's very simple we're going to add the increase into each of those two double crochets that we have in the previous round so we're going to like double the uh, amount of stitches and then in between we're just going to work one double crochet into each stitch until we get to the other end. So ang lalagyan natin ng increase ay ito mga stitches na tigda dalawang double crochets. Kaya natin paparamihin yung stitch niya para maging wider yung oval base natin. So, itutuloy ko lang to hanggang sa makarating ako doon sa may increase. Alright, so once we get to this part, we're going to work an increase into each of those two double crochets of the previous round. And we're going to do that until we get to the last increase. So it's going to be until our last two double crochets. So this is where we will add our last two double crochets. Okay, so now this is what it looks like once done. So into the last remaining stitches, we have two DZ into each stitch of the previous round. So that is where we're going to work two double crochets into each of those stitches. So this is the last increase that we're going to do. And then after this, we're just going to work one double crochet into every stitch around. Alright, so this is what it looks like now. So we're finally finished with round three. So we're gonna end the round with a slip stitch on top of the third beginning chain. So now we're done with round three. So this is how wide the bag is going to be. And then from here on, we're just going to work uh, the same number of stitches around. So we're gonna start with chain three, counts as one double crochet. And then into the next stitch, we're going to work one double crochet. 
Once you have repeated round 4, this is what it's going to look like and I did a couple of rows until I get to the desired height of the bag that I want. And so this is going to be what it's going to look like at the bottom. You will see there the oval base. And then the next step that we're going to do is we're going to add a strap to this bag. So to make the strap, I'm going to make a slip knot. And then if you have remember when we started with round one, I chained 30. This time I'm going to chain about 150. That's uh, the length that my strap is going to be. And then after that, I'm going to make like an oval base. And this is what it's going to look like. So once you get to the last chain, I'm going to do the same as what I did on round one. I will make about five double crochets into the last stitch to make an oval shape of the strap. By the way, I'm going to make two pieces of these straps. So you need two pieces in order to attach to your tote bag. Itong technique na ito ang madalas kong gawin, lalo na kapag nasa final round na ako ng uh, ginagawa kong project. Para hindi makita yung trace kung saan ako nag-slip stitch. Kasi usually, di ba, after slip stitching, and then chain one, and then fasten off. So, this is what I do instead para makapagtudus ng isang chain at hindi mahalata kung saan tayo nag-end ng final round natin. And then afterwards, that is when I weave in the ends. So make sure that you do it in different directions to secure the ends of your work. Finally, the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to attach the strap. You can sew the strap to the bag or you can also use some buttons as embellishment. So in my case, I added some buttons but unfortunately, I wasn't able to film it while attaching the buttons. But it's going to be very easy to uh, do. 
and in the next clip i will show you how it's going to look like all right so this is what it looks like i have sewed the button to the strap and onto the back and i made sure that i have weaved in the end so it will be invisible to see when you look at the inside of the bag and also if you don't find it secure you can add some more glue onto the strap so maybe i'm going to do that later but just uh, to show you how it's going to look like and uh, you can be creative by adding uh, some buttons of your choice it doesn't have to be the same as mine and you can use different kinds of yarn in here i have used lightweight and i have used double pull but if you find that your yarn is not that thick enough you can do double pull and also i will add the size on the screen so that you know how big the project i made in this video